Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the studio. We have a classic with me in the studio today by way of the gold top bobber glove. Somehow or other, these have managed to slip the net with our reviews, so I'll rectify that for you now and explain some of the benefits and details to these gloves. Now, full disclosure, I'm a massive fan of this brand. I actually have a pair of their gloves. You are gonna see a few reviews from me on the gold top range. We have the Cafe Racer, which are the gloves that I actually personally own. We have the Viceroy, the Predator, and of course the Bobber that I have with me here. The commonality between them is that they have the heritage of gold top behind them, and they are made of premium cowhide leather, aniline dyed cowhide leather, which is really soft, really supple, it doesn't require any breaking in, it is comfortable straight out of the gate. So let's explain the gold top bobber. Starting with the price, they come in at a very respectable 55 pounds, great value for money. They come in three different colorways. You can go for the waxed tan, which is probably the most divisive of their colors. It's this yellow to my right. It's got an aged kind of patina to it or a worn in effect to the outside of it. You have a brown glove if you prefer, or of course a black if you like that option all made of this premium 1.2 millimeter thick aniline cowhide leather, really premium finish to these really nice treatments. As I say, it helps them feel comfortable and worn in straight away. You don't have to break these gloves in. And it also helps the dye adhere a little bit more deeply to the grain of the leather, meaning that when you inevitably scuff these things up as you use them, they will start to get their own identity, but they won't lose that lovely color. They've used five strand cotton thread for the stitching. It's nice and tough, nice and durable. These are a very simple glove. They are actually a short cut as well. In comparison to the cafe races that I own, those are a longer glove. Sometimes it's a bit tricky meeting those with your jacket. They do butt up against the jacket. Being a shorter glove, the bobber is probably a little bit easier to use with whatever motorcycle jacket you are currently wearing. You have perforation to the back of your hand for ventilation. You have ribbing on your fingers there for flexibility. You have quilting on your thumb and the Velcro strap to give it a bit of design character. And then you've got some padding at your palm, some soft padding for your scaphoid protection. And that is about it as far as the features go, apart from the red fleece liner on the inside, making these a three season glove. And again, I have the Cafe Racer. I use them all throughout the year. The only time I switch them out is when it gets to the deepest, darkest, coldest temperatures in winter. The rest of the year, they are more than comfortable to wear. They are a pretty neutral fit. There is no bagginess to the tops of your fingers, which is always a plus. Really nice and comfortable on. With the size guide on the website, I did note that these are listed slightly on the larger side in comparison to some of Gold Top's gloves. And I would say that is true. The medium we have in the studio here is listed up to an eight and a half. What I will say about these being a lovely soft leather is that they will stretch over time. So if you do want to go for a slightly snugger fit, of course they are gonna to mold to your hand the longer you own them. I personally love the simple look of these gloves. I love the fit and the fact that they are a short cuff. But if for any reason you don't get on with these, maybe you wanna look at some other leather gloves, of course I'll drop the links in the description to the rest of the gold top range. Leave your questions and comments down below like you do normally, and I will see you soon for more of the world's finest riding gear. Bye-bye.